Oh my god. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today we're playing an early access zombie survival game known as Survive the Nights. Get this guy on Steam. Usually retails for around 20 bucks. Um, it's been early access for a little while since 2017. I've played it a few times. I got about 30 hours in the game. Um, I haven't played it in a while though, so I wanted to come back and see how it is. First things first, you're probably going to want to turn down the music and the options. It's a little bit loud. Um, and then you're going to go over here to server, fiddle around all these things. The game runs usually pretty good, so you don't have to worry too bad. Um, head over to the server browser. There's not too much going on in the way of players, at least in the US. There's a little bit in the EU uh, and a little bit in Russia. So I'm going to sort this by just the max players and uh, look for one that has good ping. You wake up from a coma. You must have been a cop. You have a gun. Find out why it's so quiet. All right, we are in the world. It looks like we have 70% health. Uh, a couple different materials here and there. We got to search for the wood. All right, sweet. So I haven't played this game in a little while. I know they just had a big update on December. Uh, it's January at the moment, 2024. We got about 30 hours in the game. I, I enjoyed it from what I was playing. Was some little bugs here and there, but uh, for the most part, a nice game. Uh, just kind of lackluster in certain departments. So I'm excited to see what they brought to the table. I know they've been working on it for a little while. I don't know if there's anything special here. If this is just kind of scrap. Okay, that's some wood. Okay. They got... This is a nice intro. They haven't had this last time I played. Some rounds there. We'll take those. Some more wood. So I'm basically just going to go through here and complete some of these beginning quests. See what kind of goodies that they got going. Uh, they didn't really have this. Oh, we got a zombie already. Oh, I just punched a glass. Uh, they didn't have this quest system the first time I played. I think it was more of just like an introduction. So we'll uh, see how this is. And then play a little while and give us a, a little bit of a take at the end. Uh, so we got our, pit, our inventory here. We got a pistol. Some ravioli. Nice. Um, add wood to the fire. Light the fire and heal. Okay. Any lights? No electricity. I like some of the sounds in this game, too. So pretty cool. Alright, so here is a little furnace. What do we got here? Something hiding under the carpet? Oh, it's actually a carpet. Uh, a battery. We will... Let's see. Oh, it's full of wood already. We can turn that on. Sweet. And then uh, we can add some wood to the fire. And then we'll heal. So that'll heal us up a little bit. So the main name of this game is you have to be careful. There is uh, kind of like seven days to die. You get hordes. So you get hordes of zombies. I forget how long it is, but um, they'll come after you and try to get you. So you have to kind of survive. Plus you have the standard survival mechanics like eating and drinking, uh, health and all that good stuff. So now we need to get some scrap metal. I'm going to finish up this uh, healing here and then we'll look for the scrap metal. I don't know how far this goes. Maybe we can still do that. Oh, we got some pot there, if anybody wants some of that. Let's see. Get some metal out of here. Yep, there we go. Um, and then we can craft a canteen. That is a great idea. Come over here. Let's see. This is our inventory. This is a crafting. Resources. Craft. All right, sweet. This is pretty intuitive so far. We can move this around as well. Now we need to find some water and fill the canteen. Wow, that's a lot of pot in here. Somebody was having a good time. What do we got in here? Anything good? Oh, I just took the whole thing. All right, there's the canteen we can place. And we can probably just pop that anywhere. Looks like. There we go. And it should take a minute and it should boil it up for us. Oh, there we go. I had to place it in a different spot. So you get a little animation that it's uh, working. That's how you know. All right, there we go. The water is clean. We can consume it. There we go. Nice. Why don't we grab um, a little bit more water? Drink some more. Cook it. And uh, we'll keep some extra for later. Oh, that might be all of it, actually. Maybe we can fill it from the bath. There, there we go. Fill it from the turlet. Game's running very well. A little over 100 frames. Not uh, stuttering or anything like that. It's pretty smooth. That is good to have. There we go. Put that back on there while we do the next quest. All right, so next it says hit the fire to create a wooden torch. Should we just hit it with this? Oh, sweet. Look at that. It's pretty sweet. Now we can craft a sleeping bag. We already have the cloth. Yeah, so far this is a lot nicer than last time I played. Last time I played it was kind of just uh, threw you into it and figure it out basically. They gave you a little bit of a tutorial, but this is very nice to show you a little bit about all the different systems. Uh, sleeping bag, here we go. And it shows you levels too, so they must have a leveling system now. I don't remember that. Alright, sleeping bag, we can place that. Place that right next to the fire. Alright, so this will set my home. Awesome, in case you die. Press F to view all of our stats. This is neat, nice. 
And then we can do that to cycle our weapons. We got our little Bateman pistol. Sweet. And we got an axe. I didn't even know that. Wow. All right, boys. So, so far, this is looking pretty cool. We're going to craft an axe now. So, now we're going to cut it into smaller chunks. This is kind of like the forest. We can... Oh, wow. Look all the way inside. Kind of looks like a turd. Snipped it off at the end there. <laughs> all right. Um, let's see. You can craft some wood, and then we can craft planks. And we can uh, plank up these windows. So, we can swap with Q and E to switch ones, which one we want to put out. Put this one here, and then we can... Uh, Hammer and nails a little bit to fortify. Sweet. And then we can also craft spike barricades. So we can rotate it with the uh, mouse wheel. And we can hold shift to rotate it a little bit more to fine tune it. There we go. And then we can add materials to this. There we go. Craft it up. Uh, continue preparing until the horde arrives. All right. So there's going to be a horde, I guess. Let's see if we can make a few more of these spikes. And we'll bolster up some windows. Because I think the windows are going to be pretty important. They're going to tear through those pretty quickly. All right, boys. So I fortified everything up. We got some spikes and stuff. I put some in this doorway. This one I wasn't able to build because I need some barbed wire. So I need some pliers to make that. Um, I'm not sure what time the horde's coming or what time it even is. So I think I'm going to adventure a little bit. There is a couple of things out front here. Not too far. Ooh, that's a huge sunray. So if we press M, we can open the map. And if we make a left here, it looks like we can hit some town stuff over here. And then down here, there's a gun store. And this is the full map here. So that might be pretty cool to check out eventually. Or if we can find a car, that would be sweet. So why don't we head this way? It is a little dark, so there might be a horde. But I think the, four, the first horde is pretty light. So I'm not really worried about it. So let's see how far we can get here. Oh, it's getting pretty dark now. Now they're probably going to come out. Ooh, it looks like we got some friends. Come here, boys. Ooh. Have a crack of the pipe. Dang, slapped them. We got some nails. I hope that's not their nails. That's a little bit sick. Okay, this boy right here just banging his head on the fence. Ooh! 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 Juked him out. Yeah, if anything about this game, the zombies do look a little bit weird, and they behave a little bit weird. Alright, it looks like we got some lights over here. This is a runway, it looks like. Let's see if maybe we can find a hole in the fence. Is this electrified? Here we go. Definitely a little bit dark over here, so a flashlight would be nice. Hopefully it's not too bad for you guys. I apologize if it is. Oh, here we go, boys. Looks like the horde is starting. South. Kill the horde to gain XP or crouch and hide in its structure to avoid. Horde difficulty 8. Okay, so it's not first difficulty. That's alright. I'm not worried. Ooh, one 9 mil round. I do like this new uh, system that they have for loot and everything with the uh, pickup supplies. It's nice. Nice touch. So take materials. Here we go. 12 gauge ammunition. Come on, boys. Is that all they got? I want to run over there and kill those guys, but I know if you run too far when the horde happens, it'll... Uh, you'll, like, flee it, and it will cancel. Too bad we couldn't just, uh, like, yell. Come get me, boys. There's a couple over here. You guys ever think of a zombies still have, like, interior, like, functions, like their liver works or their kidneys and stuff like that? Because they wouldn't really be using those functions. You think maybe it would just be the brain telling them to eat. But then again, would they process that food, or would they just eat something else, you know? Thought about that last night. Tell me what you guys think. We got a few now, here we go. We can just kite them around. Ooh, that one's smacking. As long as you know how to kite them, actually, this isn't really hard, but it's not too difficult. Just figure out how to kite them efficiently. We're almost at the stamina. Maybe we'll take out our uh, pistol here. Try the pistol out. Ooh. Ooh, nice. I think one of those smacked me pretty hard, though. Nice. Pistol's pretty nice. We got, we got a good amount of ammo. We could probably finish the night with the pistol. Because we're kind of low on the... Uh, Medi or, uh, health here. Oh, I wasn't even looking at that guy. That's cool, you can still shoot with no ammo and it just, uh, presses the trigger. So 
it looks like when they get close to you, they kind of start to charge you. Oh, dang, he got me, all right. Well, shit. This will respawn there. I didn't think he was going to hit me. It was kind of a delayed hit there. Looks like he kind of got into uh, the hit, and uh, that was into the swing, and that's what uh, got him in there. Looks like it just gave us a pistol. Okay. And an axe, okay. It right, looks like this is our stuff right over here. We got a little backpack. Sweet. We can open and uh, take all. Awesome. Nice, easy for that. And then we can clean up. So I guess that just gets rid of it. Sweet. That's probably really good for the servers that are, have a lot more people. Um, I'm still a little bit surprised I got got, though, boys. Go take out the rest of these zombies and uh, let uh, redeem ourselves. hell? Someone just hit me. I don't know what that was. Was it a zombie? What's this girl doing over here? Hip thrusts? Ooh, we got a nice M1911. And a little bit of cat food. Cat food's always good. There's someone over there knocking on the door. Oh, hello, is it the mailman? Oh, hi boys! Sorry, I don't want any Christmas carols. Christmas is over. Oh, look at that. We survived today, too. Sort of. Had a little bit of a fluke there during the horde, but... Ooh, it sounds like there was a lot of boys in there. Ooh, we got a combination lock, so that's one of those things that you really need to uh, hold on to when you find, because those, you will be able to make your bases. Ooh, we got a zombie. Uh, you'll need those to make bases, the combination locks. You can also craft uh, cheaper ones once you get them enough materials and the proper tools. But uh, it's one of those things you always want to hold on to if you find an exterior fence. Ooh. He juked me and he smacked me. Little bitch. And I'm going to kill all your friends. And your wife. And your second wife. Ooh, look at this little Lola. I think this is the gun that I got the extended mag for. Let's see. Attachments. Yeah, look at that. Extended mag. Attach. Nice. Oh, and it's 99%, boys. That's pretty sweet. Look at that little extended mag there. Nice. My favorite gun suit, 1911. The classic. But we got a little bit of a visual bug going on here. I don't know if that's just like a shadow or something. So there's a lot of boys here. And I'm not really seeing any vehicle that looks adequate. Maybe that Jeep right there, possibly. So I basically what I'm thinking is I'm not sure if it's going to be worth the fight to get in here. If there's no good vehicles, or if there's no vehicles at all. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Oh, it says get your first set of wheels. I don't really see all of these with wheels, though. But really, Jeep ain't too bad looking. Yeah, most of these are all short a, uh, a wheel or two. And we got a lot of friends. Well, how many bullets we got left, boys? We can have a little nice uh, couple shots. Seven. Oh, there we go. All seven. Let's get our axe out. I axe the questions around here, bitch. And let's see if we can take these wheels. Oh, that's cool. Look at the truck just falls over. So we took two wheels. Let's see if I can swap these out. This one's punctured. Let's put one in there. There we go. We'll take this one out. And then we will... Uh, ooh, so it needs a carburetor and some spark plugs. We might be able to find that here. Um, let's we go. We got that carburetor. Let's load up the fuel. Well, this one's 74. There might be something else that's better. Not this one. 93. Ooh, that's pretty good. Maybe we'll do this one. All right, so there we go, boys. It's 93. All the tires are inflated. Let's uh, see if we can get in here and start it up. Oh, shit. Look at that first try. We're off to the races. Nice. Uh, let's see. So we turn the lights on and off. Hold shift to turn it off. Nice. All right. How do we get out? Oh, there we go. 
Nice, so we got all of those ready. Can we put some of the stuff in the back here? Open container, here we go. Can I put the stuff in there? Move. Move. Oh yeah, there we go. So it looks like only six things can fit in here. Maybe it'll be better to find a truck. Alright, so right now I'm just going around to all these vehicles and taking all the gas out, because we probably will need that. Um, I'm debating whether I should take this truck here, which is at 82, which isn't bad at all. Or this little guy here is 99. Because this one, let's see. I'm inside. Oh, I'm in the back seat. Let's uh, get out of here. So it's got a trunk. I have 47 items in there. Holy shit. This one, I could just place stuff back here. So I don't know if there's going to be a difference. Plus there's up front. So I might actually go with this because this has a lot of items. A lot of space in here. And it's got some good um, health too. So maybe we'll just move the Jeep back a little bit. Transfer everything over. And we'll turn that off. Hop out. Nice. And then we'll swap all these wheels around. Alrighty boys. So we got all this extra stuff in here. Three extra wheels. A bunch of fuel. A bunch of extra parts in case we need to replace anything. We have all these axes, too. Why don't we put one of those in there? We'll put two of those in there so we can save some room. Put this extra pistol in there. There we go. Sweet. And then basically we'll just hop in this boy and we'll drive him around. Look at that. Not too bad. And we have plenty of parts, too, if we need to change anything out. Let's take this boy on a trip. Why don't we go to maybe the... Uh, Let's see, the gun store? We had a police place over there. Yeah, why don't we head down here to the gun store and see what kind of goodies they got there. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, we spun out a little bit, boys, but we reclaim control. Oh, we're in something over. There's an RV over here. I know last time I had an RV, there was a lot of goodies in it. Let's check it out real quick. Maybe we'll stop the engine before we go. Got to put it in brake. Maybe. Brakes are broken. Okay, we'll run and check real quick and come back. I think actually last time I used an RV as my base. Doesn't tell me if anything's in any of these containers. Okay, no worries. Yeah, if anything, if you do find an RV, try to get that thing up and running because you get a lot of space in there. And also, it's a vehicle, so you can drive wherever you want. And you can house yourself. I think there's a bed in there, too. Hi, boys. How's everyone doing today? Uh, oh. No, don't attack my vehicle, you bitch. Stop it. Stop it. Turn that off. There we go. Alright. Now we can finish our killing spree. Alright, let's take a look. We got the bad beat bar. I thought it was a ton of a bear because of the, uh, the uh, bear on the front there. Oh, hello, they opened the door for me. How kind of them. Here, I'll open the door for you. Right to hell. Alright, let's check out this hunting store here. Close the door behind us, see if we get anything good. Some arrows, sweet. Got some 9 mil. I can take this cash register. Oh, we got some 12 gauge. Oh, we got some rifles here, 308. Let's see, a Clinchester. A double barrel. What else we got? A sniper scope? Ooh. And was that some 45 it looked like? Nice, boys. Nice little spoil here. I actually like how it wasn't overly abundant because sometimes it kind of ruins it. If you just walk into one little building and there's just a shit ton of stuff everywhere, it kind of ruins the uh, aspect of the uh, survival and abandoned part of the game. 
search all these cabinets jaffa cakes all right we'll take those oh there's another bateman there all right we got so let's see this double barrel uh we can put a bullet in there the cool thing is that you can reload pretty quickly but just by clicking these and clicking these ammo icons let's see go we'll load all these up make sure they're all ready to go um let's pull out this guy and let's see if we can put the scope on there no dang that'd be cool put a uh, oil can on there if i wanted to though there we go look at that it does need to be repaired though but so there is a little bit of a hot key system it looks like i don't know how it works though so it just looks like they have default ones like number four is shotguns number three is rifles and you probably would have to hit it again to go to the next rifle uh, one is melee, two is handguns. You just press it until you get to the one you want. That'd be cool if they implemented a uh, hot, hot bar, kind of like Minecraft and Seven Days to Die, a lot of other popular survival games. That would probably be a better way to do it, I think. Um, and also, I noticed in here, um, or when you're looting, for example, is a radio. When you hit take all, that'd be cool if it would automatically close your inventory, because you get all this stuff out, there's no reason to keep it open. Just little things here and there that a lot of other games have that would be a good idea, I think. Alright, so it looks like we looted all that up. Nice little spot. Um, we can maybe put some stuff in here. We can probably lock it too. We'll move one of those away. We don't need two pistols. Probably don't need a double barrel. Hold on to those. Move this hacksaw, this wood, and this metal. Let's see if I can lock this. What the fuck was that? Beep bop boop. Somebody forgot to assign this sound. <laughs> so it goes beep bop boop. Someone forgot to assign this sound. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so we'll just uh, we'll relock that once we get over here to this other spot. It's kind of funny. I don't know if that's just actually a uh, default thing or if someone put that there just because there wasn't a sound yet. Or if that's just like a default where they uh, put it on there when there's not a sound yet. I noticed the uh, audio in this game is pretty nice. The, the directional. When a zombie's coming up to you, you can hear them. They don't just jump on top of you. Um, but zombie's directional, though, is a little bit weird. Because that guy was hitting in front of him. And I went behind him. He still hit me. But that's to be expected if it's still in early access. Oh my god, I'm hitting that guy far. Alright, I think I'm going to go around with the uh, jerry can here and grab a little bit of gas from all these cars. So I'll top everything up so we have plenty. Take out the rest of these Z's here. Give them the Z's so I can sleep. Hello, boys. Did you call an axe to the head? Some wheat cereal in here and the carburetor. A nice looking builder. A lot of open space, a lot of activities. Oh, the weapon, the thing broke. Oh, we just fucking juked that guy with the old, the old fisteroo. Oh, look at that, there's the horde boys. Set this fire up, that'll heal us up. Holy shit. Did you guys hear that? That was fucking loud. Oh shit. Another explosion. I think they're blowing up all the cars outside trying to get in. Oh, whoa, whoa! Where'd that bitch come from? They spawned on top of me. I watched her shadow. That was a little bit scary. Here comes another one. Come on, bucko. That was kind of underwhelming there, pal. Oh, another one blew up. As long as it's not mine, as long as it's not the one in here, it'll be good. Oh, hi, boys. Oh, boys, oh, boys. Maybe we should have, uh, made a scene bag. Oh, no, it jammed. There we go, we got him. Whew. 
out of here, bitches. Vehicle is lost. Someone trying to get in? They're coming, boys. They're coming. Oh, this one's on fire now. Maybe we should get out of here. There it goes, sweet. That one's on fire too, let's get out of here boys. What was in the ammo? I think we might be all out of ammo. Uh oh. No, is this our vehicle? Oh no! Oh that sucks. It goes all of our stuff. That's a little bit gay. God damn it, boys. I mean, we survived, but at what cost? Oh, there's our achievement at First Ward. We lost our vehicle and all of our stuff. That kind of sucks. It's disappointing. Well, shit. Alright, well, I guess we have to find a new vehicle. I mean, there's plenty here, but that's not really the point. This one's not too bad, 81. It's a little bit dark, too. Build a campfire or something out here. Dang, boys, that really sucks. Alright, so we made this little campfire grill here. Put our cat food and our ravioli on here. This will give us a little bit of uh, nutrients. Uh, we are able to make a jerry can. I forgot that you can craft those. We filled up that car, so hopefully we can uh, use that then. Just wait for the tops to pop off of these, I think, and that'll be mean it's nice and cooked. There we go. Take that one. And that one. Sweet. Uh, now we can eat these, and when you get your guy up higher, you'll have a higher chance to gain health and um, weight. So you want to make sure you get that before the night is over, and then next day you'll either gain some health or you lose some, depending on how healthy your character is. Uh, why don't we put this ravioli on here too, and we'll eat that. Get as much calories as we can before the end of the night, before it resets. And then we can take this campfire grill. Take the wood out of here, and we can take the campfire as well. So, wherever we end up, we can just pop that stuff back down and uh, cook everything up. Maybe we'll head to another spot where we can get some food and water. A lot of deer out here. Yeah, probably because I killed him with a car. Shit. Well, we got one more shot. There's a couple more out here. Got him. Oh, wait, another one? Oh, let's go, boys! Gonna get some deer meat tonight. We can eat good. Why don't we uh, add some... Oh, that's full. Nice. We'll turn this on. And we should be able to cook this meat. Please. Oh, that one looks like it's cooked. We can uh, consume that. 450. Nice. That should give us a nice boost to our um, health and everything once we... Oh, look, oh, look, we're already uh, just reset, so we're going to have to... Uh, we did not get some levels in that. Why don't we put the rest of this down? And we'll eat another two. At least get our calories up. Maybe one more for the day. Ooh, we got into the medical building over here, boys. Get lots of meds. This be first aid kit. You need some milk. Alright boys, it's the next day. I got a little bit of extra water and we ate a little bit of food. We are going to see if we can find some food. There we go. So we cook this up so we can make sure we get that topped up as soon as possible before the night is over. What are we getting here? A couple chicken. 30 feathers and one chicken meat. Nice. We need to find some deer again. Those were really good. There we go. There's one out here. We'll go a little hunting real quick. I 
Rifle's almost done. Um, other than that, I want to get back to the vehicle. And I want to capture these places over here. Actually, it's next to there, so... All I have to do is wipe out these zombies. And then we'll uh, capture one of these bunkers. And then I can work on fortifying it and locking it up so we can put all our stuff away. Our own little base. Alright, there we go. We got a lock. We got one of them down. Let's see if we can put another one down. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. I don't know what it uses, but we're upgrading it. Alright, boys, we got a little bit of a uh, home going on here. We put a lock up here. Can I just open it? And then we're going to re-lock it on the way out. Boys, I also realized, look at that. A generator. Let's go. So we will uh, place this. Place this under the steps here. There we go, we got the horde coming. Alright, let's go out here and do this. Can I crouch and avoid the horde? That'd be sweet. No, we should probably should fight the horde. Yeah, because we're going to need the XP anyway, so I figured this would probably be a good idea. Oh, hello, boys. A lot of boys are coming now. Holy shit. Oh yeah, here they come, boys. Let's see if we can just line a bunch of them up and pop them with a shotgun. Where are they coming from? We can play COD zombies now, training them all. Oh, morning approaching. Alright, we're almost there, boys. Extra ammo would be great. Oh, no, we used up all our shotgun ammo. Try to bottleneck them here, funnel them right through the door. Oh, there goes our axe. We got a hammer, a radio, and a screwdriver, <laughs> and a drill. Probably use up this hammer a little bit. We have that club too, I don't know where that club is. We got a combat knife. Oh, there we go, we got him with the combat knife. Holy shit, boys, that was a, uh, that was a night, oh. Wow, we got a couple levels there too. Nice. We got some treated bandages we can now craft. We're getting some, uh, ooh, a nail bomb pressure mine. Metal planks. Wooden barricade. Oh, oh that's a little bit weird. Uh, let's see. Looks like that was all. That was good though, boys. We needed that XP. So that's a good thing that we didn't run away because huh. uh, we definitely need to relax for a minute though. Holy balls. Alright, so we have plenty of calories. We could use a drink. Why don't we have one of those real quick and then we will uh, fill this back up after we're done. There we go. We're getting a little extra stuff from the night since we ate all that food. A little extra strength. So basically with this, the more you survive healthy, you'll be able to uh, get more health, get more carry weight. I'm at 130 right now. So let's see. Uh, well, once this stuff goes away, we'll be able to check on how our guy's doing. Alright boys, we've been cleaning out the warehouse a little bit, got some locks on the doors, the windows are barred up, generator and everything. We can uh, lock everything up behind this. There we go. And then we can go off to uh, check out some things. There we go, sweet. Um, so what I need to do is get some levels so I can get a better lock, and then also we can go check out the police station. So, why don't we take the vehicle with us today? And also, I'll be able to... I need to look for a... pool start, and something else so I can start the generator. And then we can power everything up, get the car inside. Alright boys, here we go. 
Let's hop right in. Oh, that boy just teleported right to me. He was excited. This axe is awesome, boys. Easy to make and does some damage. Alright, let's see if we can get downstairs and we'll power up the generator. We'll close that door. I have a feeling all these cells are going to open. Oh my god, yeah, boys, it's loud. This is the breaker. We need to add these in here. Okay, that's full. That should give it its power when we turn this on. Because that meter's got extension cord. Oh, there we go. We have to turn it on. All right. And then we have to turn this one on. Oh, shit. There we go, boys. Only caveat is there might be a lot of zombies. What's in here? Ooh, is a shooting range? Oh, shit. Look at that. Just get in here and get right in their action, boys. Yeah! I hear a lot of boys, though. Let's uh, close that there. Let's grab some of this stuff. 5.56. Five, no guns yet. 18 gauge? Holy shit, there's a hammer. We'll take that. Let's go down range. Nobody shoot us. Some ammo. Some magazines on the floor. Bunch of bullets. No guns yet, but definitely excited for the ammo. Let's see. Nothing else? Alright. How's our axe doing? Alright, he's almost full. Because I know it's going to break as soon as we get into a fight. Once we get up here, I'm sure there's going to be a shit ton. Oh my god. Let's uh, get that double roll out. Come on, reload. Alright, maybe we'll just use this knife. This is actually working pretty good. Right down the middle. Juke him right in the throat. Oh yeah, bitch. There we go, boys. Let's loot them before they despawn. The looting gives us a lot of XP, too, and we need the XP so we can get the next locks. Get the uh, cooking pot. Oh, he's excited. Look at him. Get these before they disappear. Oh, that door just opened on its own? Wish me luck, boys. Oh, yeah. Here they come. Oh, it's the garage. Oh, look at this. This is a locker right here. Oh, and some more boys. What do we got down here? A baseball bat? Sweet. Belt. Mother Mumbo Jumbo. Cardboard. Of course, the cardboard. Can't forget that. The fan belt. We need one of those. Uh... Oh, this this thing is in pretty good condition. This police vehicle. 100%. We just need some wheels. Is there anything in here? Oh, I'm sitting in the back. That's cool. Alright, let's check out this door. This is the armory, it says. Oh, shit. Hi, boys. Oh, hello, boys. Okay, we got a couple of them. Let's make sure we loot, and then we'll heal up. Oh, I see some guns, boys. I see some guns. Let's go, baby. That's what we've been waiting for. Alright, we're closing this. We're gonna do some bandages. Alright, we got 5.56. Five, we got an MK4. We got a R6804. Another MK4. An M357. Bunch of ammo. Let's go, boys. There's a scope on the table. Hopefully, I got enough room for all this stuff. Scope, 5.56, five, another pistol. Let's see anything in here. Clean cloth, anything kind of... Oh my god, there's a nice looking shotgun, a pump shotgun. Damn, boys, we are kidded. That is cool. I like how they had the guns like inside some of these spots, too. Nice, boys, that was actually a pretty good little spot. For a little while, I wasn't too sure about it. Let's see, we are sitting... We have still got like about 40 carry weight left, nice. Let's uh, load this boy up. 
Uh, we'll load that guy up. This is 9 mil. We've got a lot of 9 mil too, so we can start utilizing that. Uh, that's a rifle. Ooh, can we put a scope on it? Oh, we just have the compact sight. Still, either way, that'll be pretty sweet. I think the other one we might have put in our base. Um, and then we got these 357s. I do like my uh, 1911s a little more. Let's clean this one up. Nice. All right, let's see. Do they have, like, a damage? It just says powerful. Damn, look at those MK4s, though, boys. That's sweet. Nobody's out here. Okay. I do actually want to go up top because there is that um, the roof access. I don't know if there's going to be anything up there. It's on the other side. We've got just some random mumbo jumbo up here. But is there any, any goodies? A lot of boys down there. Could do some sniping. Oh yeah, let's try out our... Uh... Oh, there's a baseball bat. Our, uh, what is it? Is it this one? Yeah, the rifle. Oh, look at that little sight, little ACOG. Nice. Alright, anything good up here? I do see another one of those poles. Maybe that's going to be an addition, because there's another spot that said coming soon. So I wonder if that's what this is for. Like, you can do some kind of grid power or something? No, maybe not. Okay. Either way, it was cool to check out. I don't know what that is. I've seen that for a lot. But either way, boys, that was a good run. Just going to haul them all back. Let me grab some of this wood while we're here. Whip out our uh, shack in here. Oh, this boy's finger is on the trigger. He is ready. Yeah, nothing else. There's just some more boys in here. They want to add some action. Ooh! Ooh, crispy. Crispy chicken nuggets to the face. All right, let's head back to base. Let's put some of this stuff away. Dump a little bit of the inventory. Nice little storm going on. You know, I'm thinking about maybe next ward we we just go balls out with one of those MP5s and uh, have a little bit of fun with some of the nine mil we've been collecting. That might be a fun endeavor. All right, well, I'm gonna head back to base and deposit all of this. I think that is gonna be it for this episode. I uh, appreciate if you like and subscribe. If you want to see some more, definitely let me know. I think I'm just gonna make one long video of this guy and. Uh, go over again if there's anything cool I would probably would play this game a little bit more it's definitely fun so far um, especially since I last played it a lot has been ad added to it um, as well as why does this look like that okay then, well. anyways um, a lot has been added and it's been running pretty good I haven't had any crashes or anything like that um, no real issues the zombies are still a little bit wonky but still I if you get this game for like Anywhere from like 5 to 20 bucks. I think it's definitely worth it. Definitely check it out. There's not too much else on the market in terms of newer survival games. So so definitely fun. Check it out if you're interested. Uh, comment below if you want to see another video. And I thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Alright boys, we're going to take on the horde this time. we got the MP5 all decked out. we got all my guns ready to go. I'm going to make it a campfire real quick. Oh yeah, look at this boys. Oh, mopping them. Looks like we're just training kind of boys. Ow. Until there's nothing left. Oh, well there goes my vehicle. Again. That sucks. I don't even know. There's nothing even over there. Oh, there's one zombie attacking it. Really? Looks like that's just about it. We finished it, boys. And we get some XP. Grab a little bit of this. Maybe we'll get a bullet or two. We got two bullets. We got arrows unlocked. I wonder if we'll get a bow now. A bait protein tank? Really? Didn't you get the memo? Party was Zorver. Oh yes, we got the cooking pot. Forgot about that.